the pieces are put on titanium holders, which is the anode, and will be hanged into a bath of electrolyte. After approximately 20 minutes, we take the pieces out, clean them in a rinsing water, and we have a good finishing in filigree areas. Electropolishing. Electro Electropolishing fulfills the limits of the disk finishers and makes the solution perfect for your jewelry. The electricity of the electropolishing unit oxidizes the gold and silver and makes it reactive to create a complex with a complexing agent in the liquid. This means the atoms of the gold and silver lose electrons on the outside um, edges and this means makes it reactive to make a complexing agent connection to the liquid. After that the chemical complex with the metal moves to the cathode and the metal will be reduced again. This process will be supported by small plastic balls which helps to reduce the chemical complex from jewelry to the liquid. Means a mechanical and chemical process is combined with the electropolishing machines, which can remove material from all over the jewelry, also from the filigree area. As you can imagine, liquid comes to everywhere. Liquid comes under the stones, it comes into edges, and this is the advantage of the electropolishing. This brings you the benefit to get a shining which lets the diamonds bright, gives a brightness, a very good brightness to the diamond. Because the surface under the diamond has a good shining. What are the advantages of electropolishing process? Newly developed electropolishing machine for yellow, red, white gold, as well as brass and silver. Grinding and polishing of filigree jewelry rings in the shortest possible time without damaging of the filigree details. This is a very important sentence because mass finishing goes first on the edges and then on the surfaces. Electro polishing can make a nice shining without rounding the prongs. I know very well you look with a high with a very good loop on the prongs, and if there is any rounding, it is not accepted. We faced this matter in the past um, often, and that's why we needed to come with a solution for this. So in the electro polishing, you get a nice shining, and the prongs have still a good shape. It's a very good treatment of internal contours, reducing manual work to minimum. How much work is to polish filigree areas I don't need to explain you all. Improve the quality of the surface with the possibility of writing and storage of programs for several workpieces, saving and managing workpiece specific process parameters. Standard of technique, all programs can be saved and stored and get recalled whenever you need it. You can make programs 
for 18 karat, for 14 karat, yellow, red, white, gold, whatever you need. And it's a modular machine design. Simple, cost-effective expansion, up to three individually controllable process containers. The machine can be expanded with modules without buying extra, um, without to have an extra invest on the electric box. So you just buy an extra module and then you can expand it very easily later on. What are the adjustable parameters? Voltage has to be adjusted. Each metal requires different voltages. Processing time, individually adjustable, abrasion versus surface result. Speed and rotation. It's an automated process and corrosion-free machine frame. But, there is always a but. No, there is not a solution for everything. Now everybody can say, okay, why, why we spoke about disc finishers when electropolishing can do all? It cannot do all. Electropolishing makes a good surface, makes a good smoothing, but after casting, after filing, when you still have a rough surface, you need to go first to mass finishing because the limit of electropolishing is to flatten the mountains on the surfaces. When you start to make a polishing, you have often under the microscope big mountains. You have a skin like an orange, like a moon landscape. And to smoothen this surface, you have to start with mass finishing. Electro polishing is not able to remove the big mountains and to flatten that. So that's why it has to be combined. Both systems have to be combined and then you get the perfect result. Electromechanical polishing. <clears throat> Why it is called electromechanical polishing? As I already explained, on the anode, the atoms of the workpieces are getting oxidized. This means the electrons are getting removed. The electrons move from the anode to cathode and recreate cations on the anode. We use plastic balls to remove the cations on the, on the anode. This helps to bring it into the solution. On the anode will happen in the same time when it is an oxidation process, when the electrons will go away. On the same time, we have a complex making by the, chemi by the chemistry. And this complex will be removed by, 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 by media, by plastic balls. So that's why we have also a mechanical polishing process inside in this. What happens is that all the metal which are removed in the complex is going to the cathode and on the cathode it will be reduced. And this is very good for the gold recovery because as every question is in the room, how do I get my gold back? Where is my gold? In the electropolishing, the gold will stay on the cathode. From, from there you can remove it. A part of the gold will be in the liquid, and there are other processes with some powders, how you can get it from the liquid um, off. Why electrochemical? Electrochemical, because when you have oxidized gold on the anode, you have to remove it and you have to bring it to the cathode. And the chemical aspect is that we use chemicals inside which creates a complex in the liquid and this complex goes to the cathode. So we have three aspects in this process. We have electricity, we have a mechanical aspect and we have a chemical aspect. 